Legend of War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster Battle playing as the Exiles of Nehek going up against Clan Pestilence. Now, over the past few days, we've had some, by comparison, fairly easy to moderate disaster battles. But this is one of the ones that's truly going to be tough to deal with, because it's messy. It's an extremely messy battle. We've got four armies to manage here, up against four armies of Skaven. And it's just going to be very difficult to micromanage all of this. So we sort of, when dealing with these sort of situations here, one thing to make a battle more possible to win is actually to simplify what you need to manage and make it easier to manage so that you can micro what you've got a lot better. You know, more units and more variety of units doesn't necessarily make you stronger, especially against the AI where they can manage like tons and tons of different units um, mediocre wise. So what we need to do here is not control large army. And what I'm going to do is put the garrison reinforcement because it's near a city, but not actually under siege. Uh, put that under, uh, under AI control and also this one here under AI control. That way they'll have We'll have quite a lot of troops to begin with, dealing with just one army at a time. Uh, at, you know, just to begin with. So, the phases, there should be essentially three phases of battle. The first phase, which is mixed. The second, sorry, mixed units, I should say. The second phase, which will be pretty much entirely melee infantry and hero orientated. And then the third phase, which will be the most difficult, which will be weapons team. So once we start seeing weapons teams coming in and under the AI reinforcements, what I want to do here is withdraw enough units so that the chariots can come in. Now, chariots are okay, but if we can manage to kill the enemy general, all the weapons teams should have reduced leadership, and so we might actually be able to just route them all really quickly. That's kind of the plan. Um, we've got a few heroes here that we need to try to keep alive. Uh, that no one's got arcane conduit. These generals are fairly low level, so we're not going to be able to use too many abilities. Um, if this army here gets completely wiped out, it's not that big of a deal because he's immortal and all those units are free. You can replace them. We need to win this battle. That's the most important thing. People don't send me these battles so that I can do a shit job of them. And it would be good, you know, if if as much of the army could survive as possible so that you could counterattack. But the most important thing here is to save the city. Because if these guys lose, the whole city is just going to get captured. Alright, so our reinforcements are coming from here. And that's probably where our, our reinforcements are going to come from as well. Uh, their reinforcements are there. Now, the AI reinforcements, they're not going to perform very well. But they've got the two least important armies, so if they're doing a shit job, it's not that big of a deal. What I'm going to do, to begin with, is set up over here. I'm going to set up down here. Yep. Uh, we also have, like, no winds of magic power reserve. So, you really need to get yourself some more knowledgeable wizards. So yeah, we're going to stand here, and what I'm hoping the enemy will do is actually split their forces in half. So I'll deal with half of them, they'll deal with the other half, and it should be manageable. Now, they're... Unfortunately, you can't tell the AI what to do. They're just going to keep moving forward. I don't feel like we should move forward, especially once the, uh, the weapons teams come in. We should stay near where our reinforcements are. So I kind of expect that entirety of force to get wiped out. But the thing is with the garrison reinforcements, if we survive the turn... We'll just get some more troops back next turn there anyway. But the other army, uh, it might get wiped out. And in which case, you just recruit another one. It's free. Um, but we don't want to lose ground. That's the thing about Tomb Kings. You don't want to lose ground. Alright, we'll see. we got to play this a little bit by ear. Definitely don't make any casts before 30 Winds of Magic. Once our other wizard comes in, because he doesn't have uh, Arcane Conduit either, we'll just immediately withdraw him. Because if he doesn't provide any benefit to the battle, battle we just need to get as many of those units off the battlefield, because we do we can withdraw. Luckily, you weren't ambushed. Um, get them off the battlefield. So that we can get those chariots in here, because they're the last ones to show up. Yeah, don't shoot it. Don't shoot it, don't shoot it. 
Complete waste of ammo. Yeah, they're splitting their forces up in half. Okay, cool. I expect our guys will win that situation there. So, use up all of these ammo here, and then just withdraw them from the battlefield. No sense in throwing them in melee. That'd be pointless. Alright, we've got the 30 wins of magic. Alright, looks like we're going to have to deal with those rattling guns. Which means you're going to have to deal with them. Same thing with you. I might send these sharp tier around the flanks as well. They're not really fast enough to be considered a flanking unit, but we got to get around these storm vermin. Yeah, that's a pretty bad target for them to shoot to begin with. That's why we put them out front. Doesn't look like they put their general over here, so we'll have to send someone to help snipe him later. Alright, everybody. Get rid of that hill pit abomination. Get the general out of there. It's not the end of the world if he does get killed, but it wouldn't be good either. Alright, let's pop down a banishment there. I don't think we're really going to get a better opportunity than that. Hopefully it doesn't backfire. You get over here. Good, we got their weapons team, and it is backfiring. No, I think it dodged us a little bit there. Victory's in our grasp. Yeah, it says that when it doesn't take into consideration the uh, reinforcements that the enemy still have to come in. Alright. Honestly, having him on the battlefield any longer doesn't really make any sense. I'm actually going to withdraw him because we need to get those chariots in as soon as possible. Because no more fighting for him. Now, the thing is, we'll take a morale penalty, but it'll only be for a, a, like a temporary time. And then after that, we don't have to worry about the permanent leadership penalty of him actually being wounded. And that way he'll also survive the battle, even if we lose. Alright, we've won our engagement over here. And over there, they... I can't really see. So yeah, you come over here. I'll get ready to withdraw you. Ugh, God. We might get another cast, but it's kind of unlikely. I need... They can only really go after one rattling gun at a time. Okay, move these guys up. Yeah, and two groups of rattling guns like this are really good against cavalry because one of them shoots at it and slows us down by so much. Look at that. They're probably moving just about as fast as us. Whereas that's not really a big deal. Okay, just, just stand back. Uh, I hope our guys over there are doing okay. But overall, I think that first engagement went pretty well. <sighs> we don't want to be going near their reinforcement zone. For ten for choice, I gotta get rid of them. Alright, just get him off the battlefield now. Our leadership will be fine. Don't have to wipe them out, but we absolutely do need to get them off the battlefield. Alright, so you, this will give us sight over this area here. Where is their general? You need to make sure he dies. Is that him there? I think that, yeah, that's him there. Right, stop firing it. At that. Alright, cool. We killed them. Good job. Just get them off the battlefield. Cool. Alright, hopefully that's the last of the weapons things we have to deal with for now. Alright, I need to get the, the Sphinx over to, oh no, they've still got weapons teams to deal with. I need to get Sphinx over there. We've got to kill the enemy general. It's going to make the chariot tactics 
viable in the later stage of the battle. Without doing that, it might not. Just keep saving up the Winds of Magic. Yeah, you guys just get back over here. So if we have a look here now, yeah, I think the leadership penalty is still going on. Um, good, he's almost dead. How about you get over there? You're fastest. And also, you, that way you can go after those warp fire throwers. We'll be fine against them. They're not amazing in melee. We'll sort it out. We definitely shouldn't be shooting them, but just uh, keep an eye on them. Okay, that seems to be going okay. Where is the enemy general? Ah, I wish they wouldn't shoot at him. I can't tell them to stop. If they if they use the artillery on him, I'm going to be bloody annoyed. Come on, get the Ushabti in on there. No, wrong unit. This one here is the one that we need to kill. He's not going to rally. Ah, I'm not fast enough. I'm sending my guys over there. If he runs off the battlefield, there'll only be a temporary um, leadership penalty. I, hang on, he might rally. He might rally. Hopefully he does. Just leave him alone. Leave him alone. Don't pursue him. Hopefully he'll rally. What's going on here? Come on, rally. Don't leave. Don't leave. Damn it. Okay, well, we're not going to get that leadership penalty on them. In the later stage of the battle. It's only a minus 10. It's not the end of the world. But it would have been helpful. How are we going over here? Wait. Didn't they just use this? How are they doing it twice? I think they're bombing this area. What are we fighting here? Eshin Triads? No, get him out of here. Alright, let's start moving over this way. Just a bit. This next phase should be the easiest one. It's all the melee infantry. Oh, the Eshin Triads aren't relenting on us. Get through. Alright, so essentially we've only lost one unit so far, and that unit was just the withdrawal of that. General. Uh, okay. Can almost cast again. Weapons team's coming in. I think these are the ones that they started off with. Because it should be all melee infantry coming in first. Actually, if I charge into the rear of that, they might still have the leadership penalty going on for a few more seconds also. They're outnumbered in this area. Stop firing! We can blow up our own troops here. Scrambling over here to come and help. Those warp fire throwers would have gotten a lot of kills, yeah. Uh, would have been way better if we had killed the general, but it is what it is. I tried to get him, but they just didn't prioritize doing it. Gotta get around over there and get rid of their weapons teams. More reinforcements of theirs coming in over this way. You guys get over here. 
Yeah, not these weapon seams. Honestly, the AI don't use the special abilities of the warp grinders for whatever reason. I don't understand why. So they're not really that much of a threat by comparison. Might actually be a good idea to withdraw these guys. They've just taken too much damage and I can't heal them. Oh shit, our guy over here is taking some damage. Let's get him out. Might be a good idea to withdraw him as well. Not yet, not yet. He can take a little bit more damage. That's it, get those warp fire thrusts. What are these other units in here? Skaven slaves. them back. So, okay. Really just trying to keep an eye on this over here. I don't feel like I need to participate that much. Wait, what is this one? Yeah, he's there. Okay. Come on, break him, and then I'll just I'll get these two guys off the battlefield after we deal with this. Okay, we're pretty much set up, ready to go for the next wave. Okay, move these guys up a bit, and they can start shooting into this. Yeah, that's kind of dangerous. Oh, these bloody warp fire throws! Every time I've hit them, they've come back, and they haven't really taken that many casualties. We got to get over there. Get rid of them. Once they're gone, then you can take your break. Because we'll need the chariots to deal with the, the final wave of um, of weapons teams. But they've done pretty well so far. He's done well as well. I swear, I've taken more damage to the uh, Scrimmy Skull Catapults than I have to the enemy here. Okay, good. We've got a decent charge in there. Get them out. If they start crumbling, we really need to get them off the battlefield, so just so they don't get wiped out. I think it's not very fast, so it's hard to pull them out. We really shouldn't be pushing forward this much. But I've got to get rid of those warp fires. They've already killed, yeah, 129, which is, yeah, 129 skeletons, not that big of a deal, but still, more than I would like them to kill. You're still doing okay? Yeah, if you could, I don't know if you're going to win that. Alright, this time we got it, it's not coming back now. How are you going? Cool. It'd also be good once we get rid of all their leadership off the battlefield, because they could be quite tanky. All right, good. Completely wiped out. That's it. Help them get these guys off the battlefield. How you doing? Hmm. I, I can't honestly say that's ideal. If he gets killed, it's not that big of a deal. It just, it's just not preferable. Alright, I think that's the melee phase done. Now we're going to be dealing with weapons teams. Which means, these guys here, get off the battlefield. They're going to be totally useless. Leave now. No, you're going the wrong way. Go this way. Just leave the battlefield. we got to get our chariots in now. And he'll leave the battlefield as well. Just get rid of this first. And... What about you? How are we going here? Yep, run them off the battlefield. Right, that's an assassin. Um, 
Try and get this guy to come over here and help out. That's it. Just leave the battlefield. All right, these ones here. Yeah, just get them, get them off now. It's not that they're not useful. It's just that we need other units that are at the back end of our battle, and uh, we need them now. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, it's only clan rats. I think the storm vermin have been spent because they would come in first. Okay, if we pop the last one down, no, not yet. Why does he keep forgetting the target I tell him to attack? It's okay to keep the missile units. I mean, as long as they've got ammo. Once they've run out of ammo, get them off the battlefield. No sense in getting them killed. Yeah. We're at that stage now where I really need the chariots. Alright. Come on, get over here. It's bloody slow pokes. And they're pushing in too far. I need to get my guys over here to come and help them. Wish I could tell them to pull back. This is not a favorable engagement for them. We're just not done yet. Get off the battlefield. And all the, the spearmen that we'll get in the second army coming in, just get them off the battlefield. That's uh, shattered. Okay, look, get this guy off as well. I just, I just don't see any use for the magic in this battle. Those are just Skaven Slayers. Like, we just don't need to do a banishment on that. I'll just pop this down. Whereas I need those chariots. And I need them now. Alright, you're done. Just... Uh, no, no, not until this guy here is actually dead. Okay, time to leave. Now, it will affect our balance of power, causing the army loss penalty to be inflicted later. But, in doing this, what we... We've, I kind of just feel like we need to do it anyway. Otherwise, it's just going to take unnecessary casualties. Because once those weapon teams come in, our melee infantry are totally useless against rattling guns. Okay, just leave. Don't need them, just leave. Come on, Slowpoke, get over here. Oh, I should have had that one come and help. We'll get more come in. Come on, get over here and help him. Alright, get him out. Don't want this unit to get wiped out. Just have him leave now. I need the chariots. How's this guy going? Yeah, just leave. Alright, whatever. Forget about that dude. He's just trying to be annoying. Just just get them out. Off. Alright, you've uh, run out of ammo. Okay, leave the battlefield. How are we going over here? Alright, so we've still got more Skaven Slaves coming in. Yeah, keep the archers. But these guys here, just leave. Gutter runners, not good. Keep these guys for later in the battle. I can't control these guys, so... I mean, that's just garrison units, it's, it's just gonna happen. I'm trying to help as much as possible with the Necro Sphinx. If it takes too much damage, I'll have it leave the battlefield as well. But it looks like we've dealt with all their... their leadership units. Honestly, it's not going too bad there. Alright, here comes some chariots, good, good, good. I just need more. Then we've got like six that can come in. There's 
five or six, I can't remember. Alright, maybe maybe it's time for this guy to leave the battlefield, because there's no large units to deal with anymore, and all the lords and stuff have more or less been dealt with. I think there's still that assassin one over here, but I wouldn't worry about that too much. So yeah, I'm just going to get him off the battlefield. And then basically we'll just have archers and chariots. And the great thing here is that this is right before all the weapons teams are going to come in. If these guys can show up and be there when the weapons teams are coming in, we can just immediately charge at them and run them off the battlefield, which is entirely what we want to be doing. Okay, yep, just leave. Same thing with them. Get over here, start preparing to be at the locations where they're going to be coming in. Just immediately knock them off before they get a chance to shoot. That might be the last chariot, but I'm not entirely sure what happened here. I thought I told you to leave the battlefield. Oh, I see. It went forward. Dumbass. It's the perfect time for them to come in. Uh, you should leave as well. Here comes the cavalry to save the day, hopefully. Alright, the weapons team haven't come in just yet. Good, there's our sixth chariot. Get him over here. Good, look at this mass route. Good, 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 good. Okay, cool. Just get him off the battlefield. So far, so good. This is actually working out really nicely now. Just need the right units to deal with them. Yep. Rattling guns. Weapon seems to be coming in from over here. Park our chariots over here. Don't let them get in. Right, get over here. Oh god, they kill us so quick. Don't think there's any more to come in. Yeah, any more chariots that is. Oh, uh, but there's these ones here. I need more chariots. Yeah, no, 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 no. Get these guys off the battlefield first. Well, the chariots are doing great. I just wish I had a few more of them. Uh, weapons teams coming in from over here. Get back over here, don't want to get shot. <laughs> uh, I was I supposed to tell that guy to leave the battlefield, but I think it doesn't matter now. Come on, chariots. Their formations are all fucked up. Come on, over here, over here. The warp fire throwers, the dangerous ones. That's where you gotta get rid of. Don't worry about the gutter runner slingers too much. Deal with this load first, and then we'll worry about that one there. Oh, this. No, those are night runners. Dipshit. Well, we're firing back at the. Oh, this, this chariot here is fucked. The night runners. 
are able to bloody hold off the chariots with ease, it seems. Just gotta get these damn chariots off the battlefield. Ah, uh, chariots. These damn rattling guns off. No time to get them into great formations. Just gotta charge. Just charge, charge, charge. Get them out of here. This one's gone. Um, if I get, if I withdraw from the battlefield now, it might survive as a unit. No, it's it's stuck. Too many things in the way. Right, round them up. What are you doing? Can't believe how strong those um, gutter runners are. They just won't leave the battlefield. This is where, if if we had killed the enemy general, would have made such a big difference here. Because like this guy here is teetering on the edge of withdrawing. He's probably only got ten leadership. Yeah, this is the last of our reinforcements now. Oh, don't let those rattling guns get through. Because if they start shooting, that's what really hurts us the most. I can't believe these gutter runners here fighting off your sharpie like it's nothing. Get it off the battlefield so it doesn't get wiped out. Come on, just leave. Got another one here. What are you doing? Get in there and help. It, just get them off the battlefield. Oh boy, you've ran that one off by distance. Um, which you kind of need to. Keep that one going. What are you fighting here? Gutter runners? They don't fight well in the trees here, so the AI made the right decision. I don't think they actually thought about that, but going into the trees weakens us. Come on, just break! Got to be at the back end of the battle now. No time to sit there and run it down. We've just got to keep moving. What's happening here? I think all of our cherries, except this one's all together now. I really don't think there's that much left to kill. Because there's not a full stack left here now. This is this is it. This is all they've got. But the same thing goes for us. But we've got units that beat theirs. I mean, theoretically speaking. That gutter runner's got barely any ammo left, just don't worry about it. Go after the poison wind globe it is. No, get over here. Stay together as much as possible. Okay, you're done. Good, get over here. Surely there isn't much left. Just shoot at them. Any pot shot will do. Yeah, get in there and help. Is that shattered? No. Well, don't worry about it right now. Come on, just a few more to go. I... 
No, I just thought for a moment there they got the yeah they, they got the army losses. If they start flashing, despite their leadership being high, yeah, there it is. That's that's one indicator that the army loss penalties coming in. Yeah, the chariots did a good job at uh, rounding up all the weapons teams for sure. They could have done so much more damage than they actually did. The weapon seems that is. None of our heroes got killed. Uh, the ally leader did get killed, though. But, to be honest, I was kind of expecting that to happen. Um, I don't think we lost... Oh, we lost one unit of chariots, definitely. Apart from that, I don't think we lost any other units. It would say Pyrrhic victory, that's for certain. We just took so many casualties, especially with the AI ones. But their forces didn't get completely wiped out, so that's something to be thankful for. Yeah, run them down quickly. I don't know if that one... I think one of their army was on Force March. Definitely not this one. Just try to run down as much as possible. Because you have to deal with them afterwards now. Let's take it too long. Forget it. Alright. Let's have a look at the situation and see what we can do to fix things up. So that army didn't lose any units. No Ushab T got wiped out. But yeah... These are the two armies I commanded. These are the two armies the AI commanded. Big bloody difference. I mean, I did withdraw like 80% of their forces right away. Yeah, just that one unit there. He got, he just got bogged down fighting those gutter runners. Alright, let's have a look at the situation after this. Uh, do we want that replenishment? Given the situation, probably. That'll also give us an extra 8% for the um, next turn. Because they retreated in different directions, it should actually be quite easy to get rid of them. Good. That army there was on Force March. It didn't get wiped out, so... I guess it doesn't really matter, because... As Tomb Kings, you can just recruit another army for free. Never gonna win that. Discipline seems good. Alright, let's have a look at your armies. So, I saw that one of them went running over here. That was our main army to begin with, and it's in, like, perfect shape. And the garrison, that doesn't really matter. So, it was just, it was just this one here that really took the beating. Have you been leveling him up? What? But why? Uh, well, whatever, okay. That's fine. I may just... I'm sure there was some sort of strategic purpose for it. Um, you're doing them all like that. I guess you really like that ambush success chance. Uh, personally, as as um, Tomb Kings, I don't really use ambushes to actually ambush the enemy. I just use it to uh, hide, to lure them into traps, to be attacking over, over my turn. Um, you should really be trying to get towards Resurrect. I think you can get it at turn uh, sorry, rank 11 or rank 12, because that would have really helped in keeping some of those guys alive a bit longer. Um, what's the trait on this? Wise, not what I like to get, but it's not a bad trait. This one here is Master of Ceremony. You'd be doing yourself a big favor if you got something else. Let me just have a look and see what's here. Well, you don't have any knowledgeable ones there, but if we did, I would have been able to cast more spells, because we just didn't have much Winds of Magic in that battle. Um, but yeah, you, you should be able to now, just with this army alone, come down, because you got Lightning Strike, and just wipe them all out. Send this one down here. Actually, no, send that one south. Because I saw the weakest armies go down here. Actually, why don't, why don't I just do it for you? Oh, hang on. Oh, you don't have this one with... Oh, there's only one army. I don't recall fighting that one, but... They, he must have leveled up and got on his uh, Doom Flayer there. I could have sworn one of the armies went over here. Send him to just have a little scout. Yeah. But this army is not going to be able to beat that. He's got heaps of movement, so why don't we do this? We'll move here with him. Should this be easy order resolve? Yep, bye-bye. It's okay, you can replace him. And you gave this guy a lightning strike, didn't you? Yeah. So, hang on. Are they reinforcing each other? Yeah. Well, why don't I put you 
in the middle here. That'll be better. Okay, he's dead. Wait, did it actually run away? No, no, it died, right? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's gone. Okay, and this one here. It's okay, you can replace him. <laughs> but all of the Skaven enemies are gone. All of all four of the uh, the clan pestilence forces have been killed now, and if you have a look at this, geez, they're still pretty strong. Uh, it might. Mm, I hope there's no army standing there, but yeah, it might be a good idea to fall back a bit. But anyway, that situation seems to be solved. Uh, most of those units can be replaced pretty quickly, so it'll be okay. Uh, you can just use global recruitment and local recruitment to uh, to sort that out. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate all your support, and I'll see you guys next time.